Welcome back to Ballhead and Metal, and welcome back to another Meshuga reaction, this time to the song Rational Gaze. Now, as I've kind of been doing the Meshuga reactions on this channel, they've been a little bit all over the place because uh, it's not a band that I'm into, but it's a band I am wholeheartedly trying to get into because I feel like I'm missing out as a metal fan, and I also say as a seasoned metal fan, I feel like I'm missing out on something special, but at the same time, it's something that feels like it's a little bit out of reach and hard for me to grab. And after doing this couple of songs that I have, you guys really recommended Rational Gaze is the next one I should jump into. For my understanding, it's one of their earlier albums, and it'll be a nice gateway into what this band has eventually become, inventing the gen kind of genre, as well that polyrhythmic playing that they have. With that in mind, let's get right into it, but also keep in mind if you're new to this channel that I don't just try to uh, pretend like I like everything so you can subscribe to my channel. I truly and honestly want to tell you exactly how I'm feeling, what I'm liking, what I'm disliking, so that either you can guide me along on a journey of Meshuga, or maybe we've come to a, a discussion about the band when our difference is about it. With that being said, let's get right into it. I perfect, purposely picked uh, the remastered version because I said it was a little bit longer, and the music video was like 360p, really bad quality. Uh, but I'll see if I like this or not, and then check out the music video on my own. I right away recognized this song uh, from a meme that was created for Wolf of Wall Street when uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was going crazy, and they put this song in the background, and you see everybody looks like they're moshing and headbanging into the song. is the funniest meme I've ever seen. <laughs> So I already know that, that rhythm from there. Yeah, right away, this is a little bit different for me because I understand they're doing the same thing that they've done in the other songs you guys showed me, but the the comment somebody said that you have to imagine the guitars are percussion instruments because that's the way they treat them in their music. I hear that here. And the the really kind of offbeat rhythm that they're creating with this song, I would imagine it'll be very difficult to play and sounds absolutely unique. I know after this this band that that's i've always known it's after this band's success this kind of movement really picked up and bands like ginger sprouted up and did their own thing after kind of paving the way uh with meshuggah that paved the way Yeah, so far I'm liking it. So far I'm liking what I'm hearing. Uh, I, I know I need to let go of my typical comments or typical expectation of a song to change where this, the changes here are more subtle and just as technical. It's something that I'm having a hard time grasping, but I'm kind of hearing it change as the song keeps going. <clears throat> I've always wondered, because this reminds me of a little bit of Fear Factory, the couple songs I've heard, is was one inspired by the other, or did they kind of... I feel, I feel like they started around the same time, right? Like late 80s, early 90s. Uh, but I'm not sure. I, both bands I'm not really very familiar with. Um, I, maybe I've heard one Fear Factory song that I really liked. 
I tried to check out a couple of albums and kind of wasn't getting into it. Uh, but I thought the, the idea of industrial heavy metal, you know, like um, ministry, I would enjoy. But for some reason, uh, Fear Factory didn't really grab me. But this song does have a lot more changes than the ones I've heard so far. So it looks like you guys kind of catered this one for me. It sounds so weird. It literally sounds like it's offbeat, but it's not. Uh, it, it, like I said, on a technical level, I understand that this is very impressive to do. Uh, but I've always been kind of honestly with m when it comes to music. Technicality is nice, and you being very well versed in your instrument is nice. But at the end of the day, I just have to like it. I know it's a simple way to kind of put it non non descriptive. But at the end of the day, it could be the simplest or it could be the most complex thing. It could be the softest or it could be the harshest. I just have to like it. I do tend to like more heavier stuff usually, so this is more up my alley. But even then, this, this is a little bit weird. I like it, but I'm not... Like the Meshuggah bug hasn't bitten me yet. Yeah, like that melody or solo, whatever you want to call it, it almost felt like it doesn't belong in a song, but yet it's in rhythm. And it always feels like to me like a, a, a musician appreciates this band or somebody who plays instruments probably appreciates this band a lot more than a plebe like myself. wonder what their just idea was to create this band because this i mean it, from what i understand and my knowledge of heavy metal and rock and metal history is that rock in general broke a lot of barriers of how you're supposed to write music until up that point up to that point and as metal especially too even broke it further uh the way you're supposed to have like instruments and rhythm and you know playing certain notes or having being a very uh, power chord heavy music. I know it broke a lot of barriers and this is just another way of breaking the barrier. And I feel now like like a 
like an old man who was trying to like uh, complain about this is not music because I I genuinely this one has me intrigued because I can somewhat see the line of thinking on this song and maybe the, what they were trying to achieve or what what the purpose of this band is and my curiosity to listen to more is not because I liked it is because I am curious of the reputation and the love for this band and I kind of just want to understand maybe not necessarily like or listen to or add to my discography I want to understand what it is about this particular band that has people hooked beyond the comments and words that I read from you guys you know the first hand experiences why was Ben Hur the monumental movie that it was why was Beatles as big as they were and how important they are to the to, to the genre of music and how important was hip hop to the evolution of other music you know they, they all have their importance i think uh just like mashuga in uh, in the realm of heavy metal Is it over? Is it gonna just fade out? Let me see. Yeah, it just fades out. Really long fade. Now I know why it's longer. But uh this is probably the most the song I liked the most so far. But I also have to be honest with you guys because a lot of the comments I read is that you need to give it multiple listens and it takes a long time. So I took it upon myself to keep re-listening to uh, Bleed. And actually, with the more listens that I listened to it, I started liking it more. I started enjoying it more. So perhaps it's just going to take time and I don't need to rush it. And eventually it will kind of click. Or perhaps it will never click to the same level that it does for some of you guys. Uh, but I, I've kind of explained my curiosity at this point. So you know where I'm coming from. So honestly, I, I would like to keep doing this with Meshuggah to kind of dip my toes in unknown waters and see if if the bug finally bites me and if it doesn't like i there's no hate for me with this band in particular as i would have with maybe some other bands that i didn't really enjoy uh, so again it's kind of um that's where i stand on it but let me know what your thoughts are on this kind of reaction video what what would you add to the conversation and guys make sure you enjoy the rest of your week enjoy the rest of your day stay safe keep it metal and if you enjoy these kinds of reactions, you know, they're not always positive, I know that. But if you enjoyed that kind of more analytical uh, side of reactions, make sure you subscribe down below for more. I'm not a vocal coach, I might not be a musician, but I do consider myself a more seasoned heavy metal fan. And I think I'm a pretty analytical person. If I'm honest with myself, I think so. Uh, so to the best of my ability, I try to express that. Uh, I can't express it in notes. I can express it in feelings, comparisons, you know some other kind of outside information. Guys, take care of yourselves.